This is the most expensive mall in Thailand. This place costs 54 billion baht. That's about 1.6 billion US dollars. Welcome to Icon Siam. We're on the Chao Phraya River in Bangkok, Thailand, and that's one of the ways you can arrive to this mall. Seriously, you can arrive by boat. You could do the classic thing and come by car. You could even come by the Gold Line SkyTrain and if you could afford it, you could probably helicopter here too. Icon Siam has a lot of firsts and records. This building right behind me is called the Magnolia Residences. People always think the Mahana Khan is the tallest building in Bangkok, but no, it's this one right here. Let's go inside and I'll show you what makes Icon Siam so amazing and so luxurious. Literally the moment you enter the mall, you're face to face with pure luxury. This part of the mall is actually called Icon Lux. It's full of amazing designer brands. You've got like Bulgari, Alexander McQueen, literally everything you can think of. This is exactly where you need to come if you're looking to do designer shopping. Seriously, no expense has been spared here. Everywhere you look, there's another amazing detail. There's so much shiny gold coming from the ceilings. There's just a lot of very cool stuff to look at. There's even a pop-up art gallery here. That's so cool. There are so many different Thai brands being showcased here too. Right behind me is Jim Thompson, the famous Thai silk brand. And just down there is another exhibition space. I'm really excited. It's showing one of my favorite Bangkok artists, second to friend. And if you're looking for a fancy car, you can find a Porsche or a Maserati. Seriously, this place is so luxurious. You can get anything here. Wow, there are so many amazing looking shoes and bags in the window. Seriously, they're so beautiful. So now I've shown you Icon Lux, it's time for me to show you my favorite part of the mall. Let's go. This is Suk Siam. The best way to describe this place is it's kind of like a floating market, but we're inside a mall right now. Seriously, it's crazy. You just have to come here to see it for yourself. It's not like anything else. It's full of like Thai traditional buildings and there's amazing food everywhere. You can just smell this incredible scent everywhere you go and everything looks so delicious. I'm gonna take you around so we can see the whole thing together. You guys know I love sticky rice, so of course I had to get some here too. They also have these really yummy other things. I'm not sure what they're called, maybe you know, but it's like rice and different things like banana or taro, and it's wrapped up in a banana leaf and grilled. It's so yummy, so I'm gonna get some of that as well. So that only costs 70 baht. Now let's go try it. First up, I've got this delicious looking mango sticky rice. I'm gonna start off by drizzling this coconut sauce all over the mango. Okay, I'm gonna try a big bite of everything. Let's get some sticky rice in there, some mango in there, lots of that drizzle and those crunchy beans too. Mmm, that's so good. Mm. It's so coconutty, it's so sweet. The mango is like perfect, like it's the most ripe mango. It's so sweet and delicious. And I love those crunchy beans. They just add a nice little something extra to the meal. This is delicious. I just can't believe I'm in a mall right now and I'm eating proper Thai traditional street food. This is so cool. And the great thing about it here is it's so clean. It's so sanitary. So if you're visiting Thailand and you're a little bit nervous about trying street food for the first time, this is a really good place to start. It's so clean, the food is really authentic, and this was only 70 baht. Those are proper street food prices. I'm so pleased, and this is absolutely delicious. Trust me. Mm. Now I'm gonna try one of these. I don't know what they're called, and I haven't had one for a while, but they're really, really good. It's all wrapped up in banana leaf, and it kind of reminds me of maybe like a Thai tamale? I don't know, kind of. There were a few different flavors to choose from today, but I decided to go with banana. I'm gonna pull out the toothpicks and we'll open it up. So it's full of sticky rice and banana and the whole thing is all grilled all together. Mm, it smells so good. 
It's really coconutty. Like I can taste the banana, but so much coconut coming through as well. It's really delicious. Because it's all grilled, the sticky rice goes a little bit stickier. It kind of is a bit crispy on the outside, but it's so nice, like the texture is amazing. And you can see right in the middle there, there's the banana. It's really sweet, it's great. If you haven't had one of these before, I've got some good news. You can find them almost anywhere. They're a really, really popular street food item. The only thing I recommend is just double check what filling you're getting inside of yours. This is one of my favorite parts of Suk Sayang. It's like being in a traditional Thai village mixed with a floating market. We've got the river running underneath us and the most amazing wooden houses surrounding us. There are little passageways, so you feel like you're in a little labyrinth of houses. But my favorite touch is that they've painted little cats on some of the walls. That's one of the things about Thailand. I feel like wherever you go, you'll bump into a cat somewhere. And that's what it's like here too. They've really thought of everything. You can even get a traditional Thai massage right inside this little wooden house. They've thought of everything here. Who'd have thought you could have a Thai massage in a mall, in a Thai house? This is so cool and so luxurious. Suk Sayam is set up like a floating market and a regional village. It's so cool and it's totally bizarre that we're inside right now. It's all so beautiful. The whole purpose of Suk Sayam is Otop. One tambon, one product. This is a place where different provinces from Thailand can all come together to showcase their amazing goods. Every region in Thailand is responsible for making one product, one thing that is completely unique to them. And this is where they bring that product to show it off. The whole concept is designed to show things off to both locals and foreign tourists. I really hope you get to experience it one day. It's such a good idea and everything's so beautiful to look at. Wow, there's all this amazing indigo dyed fabric. The color is so amazing. There's some amazing wooden handicrafts here too. Seriously, it smells so good right here. You can really smell the, the wood smell. It smells amazing. This is a great place to come if you're looking to pick up presents for people back home. There's so much beautiful stuff to choose from. Okay, we're heading out of Suk Sayam now and we're gonna go check out the rest of the mall. This is the main bit of Icon Siam. This is where you'll find all of the high street brands like Victoria's Secret or H&M. Like, there are hundreds of shops in here. You can genuinely spend hours just shopping and shopping and shopping. There's so much to choose from. It's so good. Icon Siam is also home to Takashimaya, one of the biggest department stores of all of Japan. So it's a really big deal that it's here. Icon Siam also has the largest Adidas original store in all of Southeast Asia and the Pacific region. And if Adidas isn't your thing, they also have the first Nike Kicks Lounge in all of Southeast Asia. Icon Siam has the first Apple store to open in Thailand and it's really beautiful. It's full of trees and it has a massive terrace outside so you can take in those amazing river views all with your new iPhone. This is one of my favorite shops. It's called Loft and it's where you can find really, really cute stationery straight out of Japan. The food court is a little different than what you might expect. This is fine dining. Just look around. This place is insane. This place seriously has everything. It has a huge IMAX cinema. It's absolutely massive and so fancy. And right behind me is the biggest Starbucks in Thailand. It's a Starbucks reserve and there's actually only 12 of them in the entire world. It has a special menu featuring some Thai foods and drinks, which is so cool, but it's a little bit busy right now, so I don't think we're gonna go inside. So now you know where to shop in Bangkok. I'll catch you in the next one.